Rock and Jump Trampoline Park is one of several thousand places to spend fun time. You could say that the probability that paranormal phenomena occur there is equal to zero. But the one located in Westchester is a very interesting case. On their TikTok channel, we can see typical viral recordings and nothing extraordinary. But as time passes, the employees began to notice that the place could be haunted. Hey guys, I've been working at Rock and Jump for the past four years, and something that the staff and I have noticed is that Rock and Jump is haunted. We'll see the silks move at random times after we close. Dodgeballs roll on the ground. Stay tuned for more creepy videos. Employees notice such a huge amount of bizarre phenomena that they start posting them on TikTok. Moving objects at night was just the tip of the paranormal iceberg. Here's part two of Rock and Jump being haunted. While closing tonight, the staff witnessed the coat rack rolling on its own. and a chair flew off the table. Not only at night when no one is around, but while the staff is cleaning, the activity increases. Objects move or are thrown in front of the people who work there every day. They're obviously used to it by now. But now it's getting more and more interesting because not only poltergeist activity reveals itself at night or after hours, but this time it happened during the day. When the man approaches the desk, the bottles in the back fall to the ground. Right after that, we see everyone running away in terror. So folks, what do you think? Is Rock and Jump Trampoline Park really haunted by a malicious poltergeist that makes their job even harder? Was all we saw something supernatural or just another TikTok hoax? As always, you are the judges, you decide. Also, if you want to watch each video, visit their TikTok, Rock and Jump MT Kisco. Alex from the YouTube channel Hunting the Unknown decided to take up the challenge this time and go on a nightly investigation alone to a place he knew well where he had been several times before, the infamous Westbury House. Originally, it was a mansion owned by a very wealthy family. Then a care home and a hospice, which was closed in 2017. So why is this place haunted? When the building was a care home, the staff was very neglectful of the people who stayed there. 
which translated into a high death rate of the elderly. After several years of neglect, abuse, and misconduct on the part of the staff, the building was closed and has been abandoned for several years. Alex has already conducted investigations in this place, and each time he emphasized that it is a spooky and scary place. This time, he went there alone, and while he was inside, this happened. Hello? Oh, f hell, what the f Oh, f hell. Oh, my f God. What the f The f man. What the f No. Where to go that just moved on its own. As Alex walked down the hall, there was a wheelchair right in front of him, which is suddenly violently moved. Undaunted, he continues to explore the building until he records something spooky as hell. Why is it on the ring now? Why is it ringing? This ain't good, guys. This is not good. <clears throat> So guys, I'm using a Spirit Box S box. It's very similar to the Spirit Box SB7, which uses the white noise to communicate with us. So let's get that use this. S box. As Alex walks through the rooms, he records something disturbing in one of them. A massive dark figure is sitting on a chair. What's more weird, he doesn't even notice the apparition. Then, after a while, Alex returns to the room, but the mysterious entity has disappeared without a trace. Did he manage to record a real ghost on camera in a haunted care home? Possible. But at the end, the final decision is yours. Also, if you want to watch the full episode of this investigation and many more, visit his YouTube channel, Hunting the Unknown. The old Ledgewood Village Cemetery is a pretty creepy place located in Stony Point, New York. In 1911, a village was built in this place, which has been hailed as a progressive new model of mental health care. 
Rather than being confined to a single building, patients lived in their own village, complete with farms, shops, and even places of worship. But nothing lasts forever. Overcrowding and lack of funding eventually led to horrific reports of neglect and abuse. After decades of mounting criticism, including accusations that the hospital was using patients as guinea pigs to test new experimental drugs, Letchworth Village closed in 1996 and is now abandoned, its decaying buildings slowly falling into disrepair. But there are a few questions and a dark secret that hides this place. Why did Letchworth, encompassing vast expanses of land and seemingly plenty of free space, choose to locate its cemetery more than a mile from campus, in the woods, out of sight? Why did he bury his patients, many of them children, with anonymous numbers, instead of building a tombstone for everyone? Were they trying to hide something? We will probably never know. Levy from Chasing the Darkness has already investigated this place once and managed to record something chilling at the time. Okay. Oh, hell no. Yo. Yo. No. Mm -mm. No. No. <laughs> that. No. That. No. No. <laughs> These windows are blocked. There's no animals in here. No. 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 That ran towards us. Okay. Oh, hell no. Yo. Yo. No. Mm -mm. No. No. Hell no. Yo. 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 No. 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 I'm gonna tell you something. I've been to our location and this space never gets tired. This to me is one of the most haunted locations that I've been to. It never fails. Fails. Yo. Coming, coming. Mm -hmm. laughing at us. When the three of them are standing still behind them, we can hear someone running towards them. But no one else is around. They then manage to record clean EVPs. After some time, Levy decided to return to this scary place together with Joe. When they were both in the main building, they managed to capture this. So this was a feel, right? Dude, did you hear that? Dude. It's like footsteps? Footsteps. This one <gasps> in front of us. <gasps> Once inside, Levy and Joe managed to capture something. A mysterious, dark, hunched, massive figure walks through the corridor. Did they manage to record real paranormal activity and shadow figure on camera in this dark place? Or is it just a well-prepared hoax? You decide, folks. Carl from the channel Dark Arts TV Extra, along with other YouTubers, decided to go to a place called Brink's Weight Tunnels. 
It is the largest complex of bunkers, which was built in 1939, and it was supposed to hold over 6,000 people in the event of a sudden bombing that happened in 1940. After more than 80 years, few people venture underground and visit this place, but it is a frequent place to explore the interesting experiences of YouTubers. After going down, the team started their journey through the tunnels. When, at some point, Carl went alone, he managed to record this. This is weird. It's all blocked off again. Right, I definitely can't hear anyone now. Yeah. What the f is that? Hello. Hello. As he goes around the corner, Carl records a long corridor in which, at some point, a strange anomaly appears. We can see a white apparition that appears for a few seconds and then fades away without a trace. Did Carl manage to capture something paranormal or not? Decide, folks. In the next video, we will see Chris, who this time went to an abandoned Masonic temple. The building, built in 1905, has been unused for many years. Chris had explored this place before, but it was during the day. This time, he decided to go there alone after dark. When he was inside and slowly walked through each room, he heard something disturbing. Suddenly, right next to him, we can hear someone's footsteps, which worried Chris a bit. But after cooling down for a while, he resumed his explorations. Chris tries to check the building to make sure no one is there. He visits one of the many rooms and notices a note. Nothing special, right? Well, a few minutes earlier, before hearing footsteps, he had visited this room. Basically, when I got left it, though. Got the TV still here. The old piano still here. 
roof is still the same. We can see that the note has moved a bit, perhaps by someone we may have heard, or by something else. Not knowing what he managed to record, he goes to another place where he captures something really chilling. So, I don't know. This place feels just like it felt before. Just a little more creepier because it's nighttime. I was like right here. Ouch. When I saw that shadow figure. That shit was creepy as hell. I think I just saw something. Chris manages to record not one, not two, but four phenomena at the same time. In fact, the orb or the very faint shadow on the left is not credible, but the mysterious shadow in the doorway and the figure at the next entrance are really disturbing. First some dark anomaly flies high, then a transparent silhouette appears in the doorway and finally dissolves into thin air. Did Chris, during his exploration in the abandoned Masonic temple, manage to capture the apparitions on camera, or everything can be easily explained? Choose wisely, folks. Also, if you want to watch the full episode of this exploration and many more creepy videos, visit his YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. Jason, Vicky, and Kyle went to White Collar Hall Ruins, which has a dark history people have seen a mysterious ghost named Lady in Black, which few could see according to the testimony. The apparition only looks at them and then disappears. The team from the channel Haunted Stories and Investigations decided to check it out. That was good. What was that? Oh, I can't make out what it was. I think that was actually saying something. That wasn't the chrome like the rest, that was actually speaking. Have you got the, the EVPs recorded? EVPs on, yeah. yeah. Grandad. Grandad. Is this your granddad? Oh, I'm not seen it. I know the north is about. Are but... you one of our grandfathers? Mm. <gasps> Flipping egg. <laughs> Reg, is that you? It's not Elsie's grandfather because yeah. it's not mine. Joe? Wow. <sighs> Harry? Hull. Oh. Hull. Again. Was he from Hull? I don't think either of them were. When trying to contact, the team got quite interesting answers. They then completed the investigation and returned home. After a few months during the investigation in the same place with another crew, they managed to record this. In this short clip, we can see the mysterious dark silhouette of a woman appearing behind Jason. Is it Lady in Black who decided to reveal herself to them or nothing paranormal at all? Decide, folks. Another spooky video is from the Urban Watchers channel, 
where a group of men visit a haunted house that is marked by tragedy. Recently, there was an unfortunate accident at home. During an ordinary night when the whole family was sleeping, a gas leak unexpectedly caused the death of a family of four. Since then, the neighbors who live next door see shadows in a house where no one should be. The team got access to the building and decided to investigate. <laughs> Sí, compañero, a ver, vamos a ver qué dice el radar de fantasmas, vamos a ver si hay, hay algún ente aquí. Tenemos actividad aquí. As they calmly walked through the rooms, suddenly a door slammed behind one of them. This incident disturbed them a bit, but they continued until they captured this. When the camera is turned to the entrance, we can see the silhouette of a man standing motionless. After a while, the team heads in that direction, but the figure is no longer there. Is it a real shadow figure captured in a haunted house or just a hoax? Make a decision. Recordings from the World Paranormal Channel have already appeared on my channel. We could see malicious poltergeist activity in his house. Some time has passed since then, but the inexplicable phenomena have not ceased. I know y'all hear the footsteps. I'm like shaking already. <laughs> so early in the morning too. See, I know you hear him pacing in there. But it's been real active since we went to Gettysburg and investigated. I know you'll hear that. Hello? I'm glad she's sleeping, it'd probably freak her out. Hello? Get out of here, man.
Hello? Do you need help? Hello? Can you play the low key? Oh, <laughs> uh-uh. See, this is where I draw the line, man, and y'all want me to be brave. As you can see, the being is constantly manifesting its presence, be it steps, opening doors, moving objects, or asking for help. Is a ghost trying to contact him? We don't know that, but his latest recording is even more interesting. <laughs> Did he manage to record the ghost that haunts him all the time, or is it just a shadow? Let me know in the comments below. The team from the channel Paranormal XP captured something interesting during their paranormal investigation. So we're here tonight at Greystone Manor with Ghouls Paranormal. We actually had them come and surprise half of our team. So yeah, they're going to be super surprise. <laughs> so we're gonna go frame by frame and I want you to tell me what you're seeing. When we get here, you're gonna watch this area right here, this light. When we pan over, the light gets completely blacked out. It looks like something manifests in front of it. So we're gonna go frame by frame. And as you can see, there's some weird line that just came across here. Like this is the clip before and this is after. Before, after. Something is growing in front of it and then the very next clip it's completely blacked out for after for after so i was like oh that's strange let's have a closer look it's starting here at the bottom and then there's that line again and the next frame it's blacked out so there's that it's weird right so then we come back here and back over it's still there. The light's not showing up again when it should, when you pan back over the same area you just filmed. When introducing the team, at first glance, we see nothing. But the deeper we delve into the picture frame by frame, we notice something interesting. We see that there is nothing behind them in the door. Then on the next frame, something dark starts to appear. And when the camera returns to the spot a second later, we see something black covering the door. Did they manage to record a real shadow figure, or is it something else entirely? Luis and his son Leonardo decided to go on another blood-curdling night exploration of the abandoned complex. This time, Luis, persuaded by many viewers, returned to the Devil's Mansion. After arriving at the place, it turns out that the whole building is locked, so they stay outside. Perrito, 
Ay, ahí está. ¿Qué, oye. ¿Quién? Vente, vente, vente para allá, Leo. Uy, 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 ¿De qué lado? Suddenly, they both start to hear horrific inhuman noises coming from inside. When they check in to see if anyone is there, they record a mysterious head peeking around the corner. Then they stay in the same place and record this. This time, a hunched figure of a witch walks through the building. Until now, the thing seems to avoid them, but after a while, that changed. Did they manage to capture the real spirit in the haunted devil's mansion, or was all we saw just a well-prepared hoax? Decide, folks. 